What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie298 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And today's video is not going to be a fun video. So I thought I would introduce you to my new puppy to make it a little bit easier. This is Leo. I got him a couple of weeks back. He is, he's been pretty amazing and him and Sammy have been getting along very well. And training is going really well. Leash training, crate training, you name it. This dog is up for it. He is kicking ass. I also like the fact that we basically have the same haircut right now. So that that's good. But I want to talk to you about a fellow YouTuber who I really used to look up to. His success, in a lot of ways, felt like my success. I love to watch him do his comedy shows, be on Comedy Central, to do his comedy tours, and I loved his comedy videos. And, and unfortunately, it turns out, once again, another YouTuber has done something extremely egregious. And as always, before I cast any stones towards anybody else's glass house, I should always point out that yes, I've been accused of some wildly terrible things. The good news is I didn't do those things. And in many cases, I brought receipts showing that I didn't do the things I've been accused of. This is very different from this case. So you really can't compare the two. Please don't. The YouTuber I want to talk about today is Gus Johnson. And you've probably seen him somewhere on the platform, somewhere on the trending tab. You've probably seen him on Comedy Central. You've probably seen him advertising his tours. He has been everywhere. And the dude makes some pretty relatable and funny comedy. Funny based on who you ask, I guess. Uh, he was a bit of a Reddit darling. Everything he uploaded got featured there on the videos tab. Um, but then, I don't know, a lot of people, myself included, found some of what he did pretty cringy, but funny in a cringy way. I always found Gus at his best when he was either doing videos with his girlfriend or when he was playing some sort of morality police, uh, taking down other YouTubers who had done bad things, other celebrities who'd done bad things, Chris Brown, Steve Harvey, that type of thing. So that makes what I'm about to say just extremely worse. Gus's girlfriend made a video saying that she was with an abusive guy who was emotionally abusive to her, uh, verbally abusive to her, when she was going through one of the worst periods of her life, a dangerous and difficult pregnancy. Now, in Sabrina's video, which I'll link down below, she says that while she was going through this painful and difficult pregnancy, uh, this person said things to her along the lines of, um, anyone else would have left you by now. This is a lot to deal with. This is straining my professional life. Um, afterwards, when she was still dealing with the fallout of the pregnancy, she would want to go to urgent care, but she would ask for a ride because she wasn't feeling comfortable with driving herself because of how sick she was. And this person would claim that she was exaggerating her symptoms, insist that she calls the advice nurse first, and then even set in and listen on the phone calls to make sure she wasn't exaggerating her symptoms. And even when they were at urgent care, seeing a doctor correct her to point his point of view in between her and the doctor to make sure his point of view was seen. And I, there's, I, there's, I don't think there's any value in that. That makes no sense. That is an insane level of narcissistic control that should not be okay. Now, Sabrina didn't directly say that it was Gus in the video, but Reddit detectives and Twitter detectives figured it out fairly quickly. And Gus decided to respond by posting this here on his Twitter feed. He said, I'm aware of a recent video that calls out some actions that I'm not proud of, and I want to apologize. The circumstances were extremely hard and complicated for both of us, but I can't even begin to imagine how difficult it was for her. We were young and not remotely prepared to deal with all the realities of a long-lasting and traumatic medical situation. During the talks, counseling, and therapy we went through together during this time, I came to grips with the behavior and recognized my shortcomings, and I would like her to know just how deeply sorry I am. I fully realized what I did wrong, and I wish I could change how I responded and acted during that time. I've grown a great deal since that happened, and I wish I knew then what I know now. I will continue to grow and learn and strive to be a better person every day. At this time, I'm stepping away from the podcast, and the remainder of this year's live shows will be canceled with full refunds being issued. I will also be taking some time off from posting and working for a while. So first off, let me say that as someone who's had to apologize for the majority of his life for his stupid actions, I am all for people reading and accepting an apology. And as for learning and growing and becoming a better person, that's something I've had to do consistently since I was a child. I was a very bad person then. I'm not a great person now. I still have a lot of recovery to do. That said, I, I, I would love to be forgiving of Gus here, but there's some major issues. First off, when somebody's accused of something on the internet, we always have to remember that misinformation is king. So we have to wonder whether or not it's accurate. 
But Gus admitted that it was accurate here. He admitted that the things that she said in that video are 100% accurate. So you, you got to move past that. This is something Gus definitely did and admitted that he did and didn't try to deny it, didn't try to bring any receipts, has no proof against it. This is just who Gus is, and he admits it. But secondly is the severity and length of time of this accusation that he's admitted to, right? We've all argued with significant others, right? Uh, towards the end of a relationship, we might argue and say something that we regret saying that could be technically verbally abusive. But this isn't one argument. This isn't one week, one month. One. This is an extended period of time. You have plenty of opportunities there to be a better person. Plenty of opportunities there to distance yourself from that person, terminate the relationship if it's toxic, and do right by that person, not continuing for things to get worse and worse. And, and dealing with this in such a horrible negative way. That is irresponsible. Doesn't matter how young or naive you are. I knew better than that when I terminated my first relationship when I was tw 20 years old and I moved to Arkansas to make sure that relationship was terminated. I, it's, it's just the right thing to do. It, you end these types of relationships if they don't get better and that sucks but it's way better than continuing to abuse a person. Thirdly, Gus says that he wants to take responsibility for what he did and grow and become a better person, but there has been evidence that surfaced, and I'm not gonna share it here, you can look it up, but there's evidence that has surfaced that when uh, his girlfriend was getting another surgery later on down the line, he was live streaming, opening Pokemon cards, ignoring the fact that she was there in a medical distress situation again, and he was instead trying to earn revenue on Twitch, uh, which is, a dumb thing for a millionaire like Gus to be doing when your girlfriend needs and wants you. But ignoring the fact that Gus said he wanted to get better and didn't get better, he also said that he was going to take a break till the end of the year, except he then uploaded a dumb, cringy comedy sketch to his YouTube channel on December 3rd, long after this happened, so he didn't even mean that. Look, I'm not close with Gus Johnson. I don't know him very well, but it does seem like somebody who's made a, a very classic narcissistic mistake, and that is putting himself and his own needs and his career ahead of the other people in his life. And it seems like he has done that several times with uh, Sabrina. It seems like he has done that with his friend, Eddie. It seems like he has done that with his YouTube audience. And those are, those are terrible patterns. Those are in my opinion, almost unforgivable narcissistic patterns. And sorry to make it about myself, but you know I always do that as someone who is raised by two narcissists and someone who has narcissistic tendencies himself that he has to constantly check all the time. It's so frustrating when I see some flagrant narcissist getting away with shit like this. It is not okay. Take it from me, Someone who's genuinely screwed up before, genuinely regretted, and is genuinely trying to make up for his mistakes. You can't lie to the internet. You have to say it and mean it when you say it. And if you don't do that, they're going to see right through it. Hell, I said it and I meant it. And there's still a lot of people out there who don't believe me. I've done the improvement. I've made the changes. And there's still people out there who still don't believe me. So Gus, you can't lie about this type of thing. You have to actually do the work you have to. The good news is something has really changed with this Gus Johnson situation. Um, most of the time the internet forgets very quickly and forgives almost immediately. But for whatever reason, this Gus Johnson situation, maybe it was his apology or the accusations, some combination thereof, but people do not want to forgive him. Even his own fans are still very mad at him and very frustrated. And you check his Twitter feeds, you, you check his mentions, you check his YouTube comments section, he has very few fans left in the world, and I think that non-apology may have sunk him here. You can't, you can't do that in this day and age. I think audiences are wising up. And even though they do fall for misinformation and spread BS, uh, things along that lines, when there's receipts and an admission of guilt and proof that the person isn't getting better, the audiences are ready to hold those people accountable and move on to better audiences. And I think that's a good thing. In fact, I'm all for it. And more good news is that Gus is still young. He can actually do the work, actually get the therapy and make a comeback. I mean, Bo Burnham disappeared for a few years. Louis C.K. could have disappeared for a few years. And these people have found their audiences again. Dave Chappelle, there's so many controversial creators out there. If they do the work, if they try to get better, if they make the effort and show that genuine authenticity to their audiences that they're getting better, that they're trying to get better, something that you really can't fake, then Gus can recover. And as awful as a person as he was to Sabrina, I think it would be cool if he did. Redemption stories are cool. 
if he can make up for what he did to Sabrina, if he can make up for what he's done to his audience, if he can make up and, and have a net positive in the world, I'd be there for that too. But as usual, this is one man's opinion. I know I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, you're to let me know down there in the comments section below. I don't know how you feel about me talking about topics like this, but when it comes to abuse and things along that lines, I feel the need to talk about it. I feel like I'm a bit of a residential expert of this here on YouTube, and I feel like my point of view can carry some weight, pun intended, so I'm always glad to offer it. But if I am wrong, let me know down there. While you're down there, drop a like on this video or dislike. Can't see him anymore, doesn't matter. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. If there's any other topics like this you'd like me to cover in the future, I'd be glad to. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon.